What's going on, everybody? Well, we are approaching the weekend. Don't forget Saturday. I'll be live around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll start the live sale slash auction about 15, 20 minutes after I log in. We get everybody in the room. And then CBC will be uh, following me up live on my channel. You guys don't have to leave. And he has a bunch of stuff as well, too. All right. So I was uh, scrolling around yesterday. And yes, scrolling. I said scrolling. Um, and I came across something that was really unique. With all the trim cards and craziness that's going on out there, somebody actually made a buyer beware website. Well, it's really not a website. It's off of another website. But when you go to his um, menu bar, there's a thing called buyer beware. I'm going to pull this up. I think this is a great tool to have, especially if you're getting ready to purchase something big, you're at a show, or any, you know, for any kind of regular, you know, buy, sell, trade, whatever you got going on. Let me pull this up. So check this out. Link will be in the description. I mean, this is actually bookmarked to my top toolbar because it's phenomenal. So... You come up to this, buyer beware. Now, it takes everything in consideration that's ever been called out on blowout forums, which I believe, I'm trying to see, I wrote down here, over 4,000 cards that they either suspect to be trimmed, altered, colored in, replaced patches, whatever it may be. So all you do is got to click on one of these sports. We'll hit football. Now, it does take a second for it to come up, but it's right here. If you're on your iPhone, tap the action button. tells you how to what you need to do. And it'll appear down here. It just takes a second. With me streaming, it might be a little long. So here it is. Check this out. It's all by year. So say, for example, I want to see. Let's look up uh, Elway. Boom. Right there. You guys can't see my scroll bar. It's up above this. But. There's three John Elways right here. All believed to be altered. So if I click this, I'll just hit open new link. It will pull it up, and you can go through here, and it just goes through everything they've noticed on us. Now, of course, you're going to have to probably scroll through here, because he's taken every single card. I mean, look, there's Babe Ruth and stuff like that there. But... It just tells you, and you even got the last PSA number on to it as well, too. And now these are still believed to be in circulation out there. So, insane with it all. Um, we go back up. I'm going to scroll back up to the top here. But as you guys can see, it gives you the card number, the brand, the grade, serial number. Possibly is what he's getting away, uh, not getting away with. What he's getting at here is um, that it's altered. And who it founded by and all this stuff. I mean, it's some great information on here. So whether you're a set builder, it's just not all PSA. There's Beckett on here too. You can really dig into stuff. And let's go back up here. I'm going to hit this again. We're going to go to basketball. And we're going to type in LeBron this time in the search. Boom, there's one right here. 2007, believed to be altered. Let me close this one out because I got too many windows open up. Garnett, James, and Jordan. It looks like this is a uh, six. No, it's the same one. Yeah, three way. Three way autographed here, believed to be altered. You know, we're just going to go with this Garnett, James, Anthony Durant. Hopefully, this is one that's just directly on here. And here we go. It talks about being trimmed. But you can see there's some whiting down here in this corner. And then when you pull this up, no whiting. Seal number 1 out of 10. 1 out of 10. Guys, this is probably the best thing I've seen in a very long time that compiles the whole list together. I want to say it was like 4,300 items. I know it's over 4,000. That's what I wrote down. I want to say it's like 4,300 cards. That people have talked about, shown what they've noticed different onto them. I mean, 
no matter what the sport is, he's got it on here. I mean, look, there's a ton of James Harden stuff. Dwight Howard, Iverson, more LeBron stuff. So if you're getting ready to make a big purchase, this is the best way to do it right here. I mean, you could sit there and you know, say you wanted to just do... Um, Exquisite. There's 22 exquisite items on here. I wonder if I do this, if I put in LeBron here too, if it'll help. Nope. You, yeah, you're going to have to scroll through that way. But it still helps because you can actually click this bar and I can go to every single one. It's just shocking when it really comes down. So you can go by years too as you're flipping through. But one of the greatest tools that anybody I could say has made in a long time compiling all this together. It's not on a spreadsheet. It's on a website. So you literally could just go in and uh, search for whatever it is. And before you go hit a big purchase, like here's a Beckett 85, gives you the serial numbers, the last known one out there. And you could be like, whoa, this is one of the ones on this sheet. Uh-uh. And maybe the seller doesn't know, and you can pull it up to him, be like, hey, man, I was really interested, in, but did you know that that card's be, been called out a while back for being a trim card? And you can show them because they might not be aware of it at all either. Maybe they are. Maybe, you know, you know, some people just were like, hey, I don't care. It's graded. It's good to go type deal. But you, as the buyer, now know it's something you don't want to have in your collection because it's a questionable card. Very, very questionable. So I wanted to share this with everybody out there because, you know, th this is powerful knowledge right here that you can have for this. I mean, it even has pictures of the card on to here. Very, very well done. Um, feel free to share this with whoever you want out there because uh, this could only make the hobby stronger in the long road with the knowledge and be able to quickly look something up and find out, hey, you know, is this card on a list or not? And check it by serial number and everything else. If it is, I would walk away. I'd walk away very, very quickly. All right, everybody. You guys take care. I'll see you all live Saturday night. Um, if you can't make it, no worries. Uh, I'll be in there probably chit-chatting for a little bit. And then when CBC comes on, I'll be in the chat just uh, clowning around like I normally do. Telling them, you know, Trevor Lawrence is a bust this year and everything else. All right, that is it for me. I will catch you all next video.